City school and community leaders celebrated the groundbreaking of the Dyer Family STEM Center this morning. This is a part of the school system's revitalization initiative that will include more science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in its schools. News 3's Mercer Van Shore joins us live now with more on this project. Mercer. Well, Teresa, today's groundbreaking on the 9,700 square foot STEM Center is now a reality because of the grassroots organization Friends of Phoenix City Schools. It started with a meeting with just a few concerned citizens and a budget of about five grand. That meeting turned into a group of nearly 200 and a $1.1 million budget to build two brick and mortar facilities. The first project is the state of the state of the art Dyer Family STEM center at the Phoenix City Intermediate School where they had the groundbreaking today. It'll include eight classrooms that'll address science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. All these classrooms, they're sponsored by local businesses. The second project is the expansion facility at Central High School. We want to do everything that we can do to improve on the quality of education and I cannot think of a better way to do that than science, technology, engineering and mathematics. We can see the long term view of the benefits that it's going to expose so many kids to in the Phoenix City school system. And the STEM Center is named for Mr. Dyer and his family. They donated $150,000. To date, 180 people contributed $737,000 to this initiative. Now, while this grassroots group started specifically for this STEM project, they plan to continue to raise money for Phoenix City Schools and Education Initiatives. I'm on your side in the studio, Mercer Van Shore, WRBL News 3. Thank you, Mercer. The new STEM building is expected to be completed in time for the beginning of the 2016-2017 school year. Well, today